All these uh, pictures and videos are right outside my back door, except for this first one. So I like to ride trails, um, but I like to be safe. Um, all of these shots are actually bitless. I don't use a bit, but I could if I had to, but I don't use them for my horses. So I like to be safe and uh, slow my horse down when he's going down hills. So we're going to go downhill and you're going to stop him every, every like three strides. I didn't tell you to go. Yeah, I know. All right, walk on. Because horses like to run downhill if you hold them back. It just makes them mad. Pull and release. Good job. And who? So you got to release them and correct them if they make the mistake, like she just did, because he went. So release. Yeah, you got to wait. Walk on. So instead of them speeding up and you hanging on their face, because they need their head and neck for balance. I'll say Kachina and Ho. And so I didn't have to pull her at all, good girl. Walk on, instead of just saying Ho and pulling on her head. Good girl. Walk on. And if they make a mistake, you give them a correction and back them up. How you doing? Jen, how you doing? Good. Sit, pull and release, correction, and back him up. So shorten your reins, back him, back him up, because he ran through your brakes. And when you let him loose, tell him just stand here on a loose line. Correct him, back him up, let him loose, say stand on a loose line. And when he does, now you can ask him, good, when he waits for you, good job. You see them marks in the dirt there? That's where I had a discussion with Dakota about stopping right here. She wanted to go and I see them little marks there. I spun her around, spun her around a little bit and said, I'll move you if you want to move. And then ask her nice and who released the reins, let her make a mistake. Good walk. They got to know you're driving the bus. They're not in the driver's seat. Good but job. They take extra steps on the hill. Uh, can you just to shift, yeah, you can account for shifting their weight, and that's it. And that's why if you give them the pre cues, saying, Kachina and pull, pull, and then release, that gives them plenty of time. Plus, you're sitting. Let me yeah. see you do it. Shorten the reins and, pull. and release. That's plenty of time. Correction. Back him up. And release. That's plenty of time for him to set his brakes. Right? They should be able to do it just when you say stop if you're using all your body language. So we're giving him all kind of extra cues so he should be able to do it. This is the crest of the uh, big hill that we're going to go down in the next clip. You can just you can just stop her every few feet or every five strides. Good. Yes, I did. And release, yeah, and release quicker. Yep. She's like, really, Jane? Good job, and release. So. To prevent the horses from going too fast downhill, I just keep stopping them every few strides and that way they don't get too fast. A lot of horses want to go fast down the hill and then when you hold onto their face, they start, uh, you know, bucking. Hey, 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 hey. Um, so that way I just keep stopping them to check their speed and then, and now you don't have to stop anymore and just let them go. Because if you're hanging on their face to slow them down, then you can, that's their, they need their head and neck for balance. Yeah. Okay. So like right here, I'm, I'm hanging on the reins and I have my horse pretty trained in a environment like this to stop Ruger, who, with no reins, okay? Good boy. 
So if I can stop him with no reins, odds are then when I just say ho oh, and release the rein, he took a step so I'm going to correct him and back him up because my reins are a little too long. Walk. Ruger. Who? So I didn't even pull the reins, but they're there if I have to. Good job. And then you can go around that circle and I'll just stay here and watch you. Ruger. Who? Good. So I don't have to use my reins. Good boy. Sometimes he's good. <laughs> So we've practiced tons of one rain stops. This is uh, showing the importance of groundwork that if uh, a water crossing is maybe a little too ha hazardous for me to take my horse straight through because this is a big drop and a lot of roots on either side, um, I can send my horse over. And I mean, I went over first, but I can also send my horse over. If I have a longer line. I know. Making me wait. Walk on. So when people hang on the horse's face, then they buck because they get held back. Instead, if you say who, pull and release the reins, walk, you can keep them slow. And ho, pull and release the reins. You can keep them going down the hill slow instead of trotting or then cantering because they're pissed off because you held them back. So instead just teach them to halt on a loose rein. And then you can just halt them every few steps um, so they don't gain up speed to catch up the other horse. I do stuff like practicing with no hands saying Ruger and Hope and see if my brakes work without my reins. Good boy. Walk on. Scoot back. I'm riding bareback, well, with a pad, just because it takes so much time to put the saddle on. And it's heavy, so I do a lot of bareback riding. You know, Bob and I once lost a cow out here. Yeah. Yo! <laughs> we once lost a cow out here right at hunting season so there's no leaves on the tree and it was black and white we we're on horseback chasing it spotted it must have jumped over a stone wall and then just dis disappeared i could see losing a deer but uh a cow yeah quite embarrassing we caught him eventually <laughs> don't usually school out here on the trail. Well, I'm lying, we do. Not like this, but in other ways. Very nice. We ride all year.